lange. Ja. Are you ready? Are you ready? What's up team? Fullers, this is your girl Amy. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to Cake Open Canal. So today I'm back again with another cooking video. So today we're going to cook cassava leaf. I'm going to make uh, one of my favorite candy, which we call in my local language, if you're Sierra Leonean, we call this butterscot. And then I'm going to be making some cake. I'm going to be making some bladder dake. Um, I'm making this stuff all because it's my friend's um, daughter's birthday. And we're going to celebrate her birthday. We're not, it's not like we're going to make like a very big birthday. It's just like a couple of friends together. A couple of kids just home. Eat. Sing. Just fun, you know, just fun with friends and family, like close friends. So I I told her when I'm coming, I'm going to make some few stuff and I'll bring it. Everybody makes stuff and bring it. And then we all just have a good time together and let the kids play together. That is actually what it is. It's not like a really big birthday party. So I'm going to first start with the cassava leaf because cassava leaf is one of my favorites. One of my favorite dish from my country, but it's because of the mess reasons why I don't like to cook it all the time. So I took out my big pot because this pot is big. At least the mess will be a little bit less. Um, I already like to cook my meat whenever I am cooking. I like to cook the meat separately just to make the process a little bit faster. Um, because I don't like to cook the meat with the rest of the ingredients because I don't want everything to overcook because sometimes the meat um, needs a lot of time to cook and I don't want the meat and the other ingredients to be overcooked. So now that I've cooked the meat, I'm going to use the, the water of the meat to mix the granite. Everybody cooks differently. I cook um, this way because the granite is a little bit hard. It's a little bit thicken. It's not like those granules we we buy or they buy in Africa. It's fresh made. It's very easy to cook. But this one, as you guys can see, is a little bit hardened. And if you just put the cassava leaf and just put the granules into the cassava leaf, you will have like a bumps of granules that are not really um, properly cooked. So I like to mix it this way allow the granules to melt like like melt the granules properly with the water though and then i will add the cassava leaf and add the rest of the ingredients um this cassava leaf is properly blend so i don't need to blend it again sometimes when you buy cassava leaf it depends on the one you buy you can see the leaf the, the thing is not properly blend so you have to blend it again but with this one, it's properly blend. You don't have to blend it again. And I'm going to cook like three packs of cassava leaf. And I'm just going to put the remaining sauce in the bowl. Put it in the freezer for the days that I feel like eating cassava leaf. But I don't want to cook it. So yeah, that's the reason why I'm going to cook a lot. Because um, yeah, it's cost a lot of mess. So I just want to cook a lot. And keep the rest for the days that I don't feel like cooking because this is not it's not a dish that I cook every single time even though it is my favorite because of the mess so now I've put the cassava leaf and I'm just going to mix it properly with the granules and I'm just gonna allow the cassava leaf to steam and um, do not allow it to overcook just allow it to steam because the meat is already cooked so the process um, it's more easier now so i'm gonna add the onions the, the palm oil and everything and just allow everything to steam um together just allow everything to steam and allow the palm oil to cook with the cassava leaves to cook with the onions and just allow everything to steam and then i'll go ahead later and add the meats because that one is already cooked so you don't need to like add it immediately because it's already cooked so yeah this is what i'm doing i'll allow it to steam for a little bit and then you can go ahead and uh, do other things so while the cassava leaf is steaming i'm going to make 
the butterscotch this is the african african candy so you need a lot of butter for this one so i'm going to call my daughter to come and help me because she always like she's always asked mama, mama let me help in the kitchen so she's she she always wants to help me in the kitchen so i thought this is the perfect opportunity come and give me a helping hand so i'm going to first um allow the butter to melt and then i will put the the teak milk i don't know what's the name of this it's like a really like this is very sweet it's like a really sweet candy um so i'm gonna add this into the pan and then i'm going to call my daughter to come and be mixing it and she was like if my hand is paining me and i was like just keep on mixing how do you think i do it i also have muscles i also have pain in my hand when i'm mixing but you just have to keep on mixing. I was so happy that she was like, okay. She just kept mixing. And I, in between, I let her take a break. And I help her a little bit. And after she come back and mix. And I do other things. So I'm just going to empty the whole can. Take off all the milk. Like, this is so sweet. Um, I really like butterscotch. It's one of my favorite candies. In Sierra Leone, they sell it everywhere in school, in church, between friends. It's so, it's if you're Sierra Leone, you already know. So, it's one of my favorite candies and it's very easy to make. So, yeah, I'm just going to mix it. So, this one you have to like keep on mixing till everything gets thick, it will change color. Just look at the video, just look at the process. Um, you guys will see. So, now my daughter is here, I'm showing her how to mix. And now I'm just showing her and she's going to be mixing. So while she's mixing, I am going to be focusing on the cassava leaf and the other stuff. So I'm like cooking, I'm baking, I'm doing so many things at the same time. Yeah, you know, sometimes you just have to go extra miles for the ones you love. You know, you do extra things. This Everything was just going on in one day. I have this little oven. I'm planning to fix oven in the kitchen, but for now, it's not like it's not like compulsory. Compulsory, I do have an oven that I'm using, but it's the the plan is to fix another oven. So while the cassava leaf is steaming, I'm going to be making a cake. So this is how we're gonna do it. This is how I'm doing it. I first make the cake and I put the cake in the oven. While the cake will be there for like sixty minutes. I am mixing, I'm making the bladder dick. So when I took the cake out of the oven for it to cool down, I am putting the bladder dick in and then I'm going to be adding other stuff. And then whilst the bladder dick is in the oven, I'm going to fix the next cake. This is just how I do it. So yeah, just add my egg, flour, butter, a little bit of water. I'm going to add a little bit of water into the cake and then I'm going to add some coconut powder i love coconut so like yeah you guys can see i love coconut the kids like it so it just had a little bit of coconut powder into it and then it has this crunchy taste whenever you eat the cake so it's really really delicious so yeah i'm going to be mixing that and whilst my daughter is um helping me to mix the to mix the butterscotch as we called it so I've mixed the cake properly. I've already uh, sprayed the pan, the mini, mini pan. I want to make like this mini, mini um, cakes for the kids. Not a lot. So at least the kids, the kids are coming. They are not really much. So it's like just they can share it. Maybe one child can, can share the cake with another child. Like, you know, split it into two because I don't really have um, a lot of these baking stuff. I only have five. So like I have to rotate. So it's going to be difficult to like make a lot of cake. So I just make what I can make and um, just take it along. So I'm just like trying, try not, I try not to put a lot because if you put a lot into this pan, it will overflow. And so, yeah, you just have to distribute it um, evenly. So at least everywhere is touching, everywhere has cake. So now I'm just going to put that other cake aside because as you guys can see, I still have a lot of cake. I'm going to take a plastic, I'm going to cover it, wrap it with a plastic so at least nothing goes into the cake, like no mess, no fly, no whatever, water or something. 
and then what i'm going to do now i'm going to put those um cake into the oven as you guys can see i removed the bladder cake. this is the first bladder cake i made i didn't show you guys the process of making this one but i'll show you guys the next one so this is the first bladder cake i make and i just take this out of the oven while this one is cooling down i put the cake in and then i will when I package this bladder dig, I'll put it into this tray. At first, I'm going to put like an aluminium foley on top of it because this um, tray has like this mini holes and uh, I just want everything to stay a little bit neat, not messy. So I'm going to put this bladder dig into this container, just what I'm going to be making. And then now the cake is baking in the oven. I'm going to clean up the tray and i'm going to make the next bladder dig so why is the cake will finish and i will put the next bladder dig and then i will continue with the cooking and then i'm done taking shower all of the things i'm doing in one day and then my friend um daughter is coming to pick me up and we're just going with the car so it's more easy that i don't have to go with the train your girl is still working on the driver license by the grace of God, I will get mine very soon. It's a work in progress, you know. This life is a journey. It's not a competition. Cut your code according to, according to your size. But I'm still working on it, you know. Definitely, I'm trying my best to get my own driving, my own car. So, for now, let's just deal with what we have. So, I'm just um, distributing, try to organize the bladder day, um, put everything nice and um, get everything ready. So, now, as you guys can see, I'm trying to clean the tray just clean it i'm going to spray it again with the baking oil so at least it's um it's uh the, the bladder dick does not stick on it when you put it in the oven so that is what i'm doing so that is the wash that i'm using the wash that i'm using is a chicken it's just in chicken or meat i don't eat pig so if you guys have watched most of my videos you guys know that i don't eat pig so i don't feel like taking the cutting board i don't feel like removing the cutting board and then make a mess again and then uh, i'm trying to cook and clean so by the time i'm done there is no much things to do that's what i'm trying to do so i'm just going to wash the the area there and then use that to roll the bladder dig so yeah that's what i'm doing so now i'm open the wasp and that is the bladder dig that i am using if you live in holland you already know what bladder dig is i don't know the english name of bladder dig but that is bladder dig. You guys can see it. You guys can see it. And um, yeah. So that's bladder dig. So now I've opened everything. And what you're going to do is just take the bladder dig. Wrap it with the wasp. And it's very simple. And the kids love this. My kids love this. Like my kids love this. My friend's kids love this. My brother's um son. This is one of his favorite stuff that I make. Every time it's like, auntie, bring this for me. So the kids really love it. And it's very simple to make. So it's not like something that takes a lot. You just take bladder dig, take the worst, wrap everything. And then later on, just go on top of it with some egg white. And just to make it a little bit crunchy. And it's very easy, very, very simple. So while everything is cooking and steaming, I am going to be getting this one ready just make sure i get all the bladder dick i think the the bladder dick in one packet you have like 10 but the uh worst that i got you have like six in one in one um one container so it's like not much so i have to open like two container to get everything ready so now that you guys can see i've wrapped the bladder dick so i break the egg with the white and the yellow in but as you guys can see, I'm not using the, the the yolk. I'm not using the yolk. I'm just using the white egg. I'm just rubbing it on the bladder dick so that it, um, it tastes a little bit crunchy. It's more like crunchier when you are eating it because the kids like it. I also like it like that. It's more crunchy and it's giving a little bit of this nice brownie, shiny look, which of course it's very, very beautiful. So I'm doing this and um, when I'm done with that, I just put that one aside, put it aside because the cake is still baking. I'll just put that one aside and um, try to look on the other food, try to check the cassava leaf, trying to check the butterscotch, how far it's going. 
I'm so grateful that my daughter is here to give me a helping hand because I don't know how how I would have done this all by myself. So as you guys can see, the cake is finished. 60 seconds is out. So I'm taking the cake out. As I'm taking the cake out, you guys can see the bladder dick is going into the oven. This is the this is what you this you gotta do what you gotta do. I don't have like a super big oven. Even if I have big oven, I don't have a lot of those baking stuff those small um, baking pans so you just gotta work with what you have you know it's no need to complain work with what you have so when the cake is hot i know it's really hot you guys can see my hand is burning but that's the perfect time for you to allow it to cool down a little bit and then remove the cake out of the 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 baking pan because if you allow it to cool down for a very long time it's going to be very difficult to remove and it's going to it's going to crack it's going to crack and I don't like it. I don't like when I'm making stuff for somebody and then it's like something goes wrong. I want it to be perfect. I want it to look a little bit nice, you know. I like it. I, I like good presentation. So now I'm just emptying and I'm, so you guys can see I'm soaking the pan. And I'm, I'm going to allow it to soak for a few minutes and then I'm going to wash it again. Put the next cake into it and then yeah. When the bladder dick is, is done, I'm going to put the next one into the oven. The bladder dick only takes like 30 minutes and the cake takes like 60 minutes, 60 to 65 minutes. Um, and then, yeah, then we're done. So now we've done with all of that. Let's come and be moving into the cassava leaf. I'm trying to, I'm trying to clean as I'm cooking, as I'm doing all of this stuff. I'm trying to clean, organize everywhere. So by the time I'm done, I really don't have a lot of things doing. Because one thing about me, when my stomach is full, I don't have energy to clean. So I try to always clean before ever I sit down and eat or before ever I go and take showers. As you guys can see, I'm giving my daughter a kiss because of her help. I really appreciate her giving me a helping hand. And yeah, as you guys can see, the butter scott, the milk is getting thicker and thicker and thicker. And she was helping me, was just killing me with one question to the other, asking me question, question, mama, are we going to eat all of this? Is this for us? I'm like, no, it's not for you. It's for somebody else. Are you going to take everything with you? I'm like, no. And so she was talking, talking. I'm like, okay, I just put a little bit of the candy into her mouth so that she can keep quiet. She was like, how are you going to make it and bring it for and nothing? You're not going to leave anything at home. I'm like, no, I'm not going to leave everything in this house. Nothing in this house. Everything is going. And really? So when we get there, can we eat it? I'm like, when we're there, you can eat it. But I'm not making it for you. So everything is going. So one question to another. And uh, yeah, that's what I That's what I was. I was just there talking. So now that the cassava leaf and the... Uh, granules and the uh, palm oil everything are steamed and the onions everything are steamed together now you can add your other other ingredients you know now you can come and add the meat so at this time now like it don't have to take a lot of time for it to cook because the ingredients has already cooked so you just gonna allow it after, after adding the meat you can add your dry fish your madame chinette pepper like those hot african pepper i don't really eat a lot of pepper so the pepper that i'm using are not like super 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 hot so yeah but i also put like this bowl the whole madame chinette pepper into the pan so in case because my friend she likes spicy food she's not like me so i put like an extra pepper if she wants she can she can she can make that one smashes and eat it i don't so now i'm going to add the crab I have like two crab it wasn't much i don't have a lot of crab i use the other ones to cook something else and she loves crab so i thought let me just add um these two crab for her and i'll be putting it in the container that i'm bringing for her so yeah she's gonna like it so now just gonna allow that to steam allow everything to steam as you guys can see i'm cleaning the wall because the cassava leaf was just jumping springing going everywhere so yeah i was just cleaning everything make sure everything is good so i kind of take over helping my daughter a little bit because um she was really tired like this thing takes a lot of time to make to mix to like you need muscles 
you need a lot of muscle to make this. So I kind of stop and help her a little bit, you know, just um, mommy giving a mommy helping hand. And uh, yeah, that was what I was doing. Just keep mixing and checking everything as I'm mixing, I'm checking, as I'm mixing, I'm checking. Okay, I kind of moved the gas because this other gas was kind of a bit too slow, too dull. So I kind of take the bigger gas and um, now I'm going to get the wooden board um where you're going to pour the candy but first what you have to do is make sure that you rub that wooden board with candy fast forward as you guys can see the color has changed it's getting a bit thicker i've already melt i've already um, um rub like rub the the wooden board with some butter so at least it doesn't the candy does not stick um onto the wooden board so it's easy for you to just um remove um, yeah, so just mix 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 mix. I feel like now I'm just going to try to check it out to see how strong it is and I feel like it's ready It's ready to be molding. It's ready for you to mold. This part is It's very very Painful it's painful sweet because that thing is hot But you need to mold it when it's hot like this if you allow it to get cold It will just become one big candy and that is not what i was going for so now i'm going to rub my hand with butter you guys can see i rub my hand with butter as if i'm rubbing hand cream because i don't want that thing to burn me so you're just gonna keep doing that making like small small candy sometimes some people like to roll it on the on the board and then use knife to cut it um like really nice but for me i don't have time to do that one today so i'm just going to be molding it like this with my hand and um yeah that's what i'm doing it's painful it's burn it's burn like it's really burning it's painful it's hot like when i said hot it's hot but anyway i eventually did it and um yeah so that's it i did everything i'm just sometimes some of the ones some ones i did a little bit bigger so i'm just going in again and uh making it at least let it be a little bit the same it cannot be 100 percent the same but let it be a little bit the same, you know. So I'm trying to, like, balance everything. Make sure everything is the same, at least. So I have these little ones that I've been... I give them to the girls. I give to Aliyah and uh, the little sister, you know. Just to tell her, thank you for helping me. So now I'm going to allow that one to cool down. And um, allow it to cool, trying to clean. You guys can, you guys can see. Like I tell you, as I'm cooking, I am cleaning. I don't want to be sitting down later. I'm thinking about when I come back home, I have to clean. No, I want to leave this house clean before I go. So, yeah. So now we are back to the cassava. As you guys can see, the cassava leaf is, is finished. So the cassava leaf is finished. I'm just mixing, tasting if I needed to add any pepper, any salt. I like to add okra into the cassava leaf little bit not too much so i'm going to slide the okra into like little pieces with a knife because i don't want to use blender because then i have to wash the blender and trust me your girl is trying to avoid all the work so i'm going to take this um thing this this little african thing here we call this in my local language matarodo you be pounding matarodo so i'm at i'm adding two ball of pepper because that woman like pepper and i'm going to add only one pepper into the cassava leaf, cassava leaf because i don't eat a lot of spice and um and i have friends that eat a lot of spice so i don't so i'm going to be adding two ball pepper and extra if she need any more spice so she will take that one and i'm just going to cut that slice one and then add it into the the cassava leaf for the okra i'm going to be pounding it with that thing you guys will see you guys will see what i'm doing you will see very soon because I, I wasn't ready to take blender just for this small okra to be blending it and then later you have to wash the blender again you have to ah uh, i'm trying to avoid work so we're pounding we're just pounding it you know this is how we used to do it in my village i'm a village girl i'm not a city girl so yeah this is how we used to do it in the village. You, you will pound for your life, especially when you are pounding cassava leaf. Ah, here we have it, the blend one. Back then at home, I remember we used to pound. We used to pound cassava leaf. You pound there, your hand. 
Oh God. Anyway, I'm happy for the for my life. I'm happy for the way I am right now. I'm happy for where I am. I'm also very grateful for where I came from. At the same time, I'm very very happy where I am, and I'm very very happy for to where I'm going. Cause this life not balanced, but it, I still I love I love all the experiences that I had when I was back home in the village. I love those experiences. So sometimes that's why I do have some local characters because it's just in me. I'm a village girl, and I'm very proud. I'm a very proud one. So yeah, mix everything. Adds a little bit of salt, pepper, and now we're going to add the okra. Allow it to steam for a few minutes. Whilst everything is steaming, I'm just going to the kitchen and just try to clean up. As you, you have you guys see the wall there? How the cassava leaf has just like prak, 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 like everything has just scattered into the wall. Yes, that's the reason why I don't like to cook this 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 dish. I cook it once in a while, so that's the reason. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to try to clean around just clean everything and wipe everything i'm going to add the rest of the i think i'm going to add a little bit of pepper because the one i added it wasn't like super spicy this pepper i'm using they are not like spicy spicy so it's just a little bit not too much so allow everything to steam wash all the dirty dishes the bladder deck is finished now i'm going to add the remaining cake and um add everything you know yeah this is it just repeat the same process that i did uh with the first cake i've washed the the the, the containers i've sprayed with the baking spray and then i'm adding everything putting that into the oven and then i'm packing everything now we are ready to go everything is finished and my friend was really happy and uh, yeah and i was also very happy i'm happy that she's happy <laughs> does that make sense i'm happy that she's happy i'm happy that she was happy for the efforts that i that i make you know so yeah that's it and these are very very simple things to make i really enjoy like baking cooking making small small dishes i love cooking the cassava leek as well the only thing is the mess that i didn't like but i love and it was delicious and she was happy everybody was like ah oh, this food tastes nice you know sometimes it's good when you have friends that are from different countries I love the fact that my friends are from different countries. So whenever we have a program or wherever we are meeting together, everybody will cook like their local dish from their own countries and bring it. And all of us, we get to try and prove and just try each other's um, favorite dish. So yeah, I'm happy and it's just great. You learn, you learn new things, you taste, you have new tastes, you try new food and I just love it. And I just love it. So yeah. My friends, I have friends that are from different countries. I have friends that are from my countries. We meet together. We just, everybody, every, everybody bring their own local dish. And it's just amazing. It's fun. It's always very beautiful. And yeah, so now I'm done. Everything is done. I'm just trying to clean up, like trying to run, clean everything up before I leave at least. Um, I don't leave the house messy. At least when I come back, I wouldn't. I, I'm not going to think about cleaning and trying to pack everything. At least I'm leaving a clean house. So the remaining one, I'm leaving it for the girls because I don't have energy to come back and be baking and be doing stuff. So I'm leaving the remaining stuff for the girls. Whatever is on that tray, I am bringing it to my friend. And yeah, that was it, guys. The cassava list is finished. The cake is finished. So this is the finished result. I hope you all like this video. If you do, please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Team Fullest, peace out. Bye. Doeg.